everyone, my name is Eng Hui Xin, you can call me Ringu. Today I'm going to talk about how to cook delicious spaghetti carbonara. I will be talking about the ingredients that you need, the important steps while you are cooking it, and also what other tastes you can make by adding other ingredients. First, the ingredients that you need are 100 gram chicken breast, 50 gram pecorino cheese, 50 gram persimmon, 3 eggs, 350 gram spaghetti, 2 palm garlic cloves, 3 garlic must be peeled, 50 gram unsalted butter, some salt and freshly black pepper. Now I'm going to talk about the cooking step. The first step is put a large saucepan and add water to let it boil. Let then finely chop the chicken breast to pieces. Finally, grab both cheeses and mix them together. Beat the eggs in a medium bowl season with a little freshly grated black pepper and set everything aside. For the second step, add 1 teaspoon salt to the boiling water, add the spaghetti and when the water comes back to the boil, cook at a constant simmer and just cover it for 10 minutes. Third step, scratch the garlic with the blade of a knife just to brush it while the spaghetti is cooking, fry the chicken breast with the garlic, drop a butter into a large white frying pan or a wok, and as soon as the butter has melted, keep the chicken breast and garlic. Leave, the, leave this to cook on a 5 medium heat for about 5 minutes, stirring often until the chicken breast is cooked, the garlic has now imparted its flavor. So take it out with a slow spoon and discard. The fourth step, keep the heat under the chicken breast on low. When the pasta is ready, lift it from the water with the pasta fork or tongs and put it in the frying pan with the chicken breast. Don't worry if a little bit water drops in the pan as well and don't throw the rest of the pasta water away yet. The fifth step, mix most of the cheese in with the eggs, keeping a small handful back of sprinkling over later. Take the pans of the spaghetti and chicken breast of the heat. Now quickly pour in the eggs and cheese and using the tongs and the long forks, lift off the spaghetti and it mixes easily. With the eggs mixtures, which thickens but does not crumble and everything is caught. And extra pasta cooking water to keep it saucy. And you don't want it wet. Just moist it. Season with a little salt if needed. Finally, for the last step, use the long prompt fox to twist the pasta on the serving plate or bowl and serve immediately with a little sprinkling of the remaining cheese and grating a of black paper. If the dish does get a little dry before serving, splash some more of pasta water and the glossy sauce mixes will be revived. Moreover, for making your favorite taste, you can add the ingredients that you like. And it's end of my speech. I hope everyone can learn how to cook delicious spaghetti carbonara for my speech. So thank you very much. Yummy. Oh, <laughs>